So I guess it's like nearly spring now. And you know what happens after spring? Yeah, that's right, summer. Now, in my personal opinion, this is not good. Allow me to explain. Uh, over there. Now that I'm over here, I'm about to list off a bunch of reasons why, in my opinion, winter is better than summer. One last time for good luck, by the way. This is an opinion-based video, and if you disagree, then that's fine, but it's just, we can't be friends. Anyway, pros and cons. Winter. Uh, I'll do the pros first, and then the cons. So yeah, winter. Winter has a lot of pros. For example, snow. Snow is cool, depending on where you live. But since this is an opinion-based video, where I live, it's really cool. When it does happen. We didn't get any this year though. Still though, that's one point for winter, and by extension, sledging, snowball fights, snow angels, snowmen, someone built an entire igloo once. Oh, and when it snows and you go outside and it's just completely silent, except for like the crunchy footsteps, that's so good. So that's uh, seven points for winter so far, and I'm not even done yet. That was just the snow stuff. There's also stuff like Christmas, my birthday, the cold, Hot chocolate, chillin' by the fireplace watching TV, more time to sleep, there's little ice patches on the side of the roads, ice skating, and the winter holidays. There's probably more, but that's all I can think of so far. Now if we tally it up, that brings us to about 15 points to winter, which is a pretty good score to be honest. But now onto the pros of summer. Uh, uh there's water balloon fights, um, uh, camping, that's one, picnics, there's more thunderstorms, oh the summer holidays. Uh, swimming and ice cream. That's all I can think of for summer. So let's tally it up and seven. Uh, seven points. Now, immediately, this is a big hit for summer. Getting less than half of what winter got. But wait, it gets worse. Time for the cons. I'll start with winter. Uh, I guess the roads can get slippy. You can't drive. Maybe you'll like slip or something. It does rain a lot, but that's mostly like an autumn thing. So I'm not going to count it. You know, I think that might be it. Just like slippy roads. And now time for the cons of summer. <sighs> Hot. I cannot stand the heat. You know how you'll like get home from school. You basically have to take off all your clothes and lay perfectly still while you're like being cooked over there. That might just be me though. Oh my god, the amount of times I've gotten like 20 minutes of sleep because I can't get to sleep from the heat. Hang on a minute, how come cold is a good thing and hot is a bad thing? Okay, okay, let me explain. When it's cold, you can put on as many layers of clothes as you want until you're warm. But with summer, you can only take off so many layers. Okay? Okay. This one's pretty bad, so I'm gonna give it a minus two points instead of one. Okay, so sunburns. Need I say more? Minus one point. Wasps can burn in hell. Just imagine this, I was at a park eating a nice jam sandwich, and out of nowhere, a wasp lands on my sandwich. Not knowing this until the last moment, I, age three-ish, took a bite out of my delicious sandwich, and at that moment forward, there was a wasp in my mouth. I bet you can predict what happened next. Yeah, it stung my tongue. It really hurt, and my mum had to, quote, remove the poison sack. What? And ever since then, I've been terrified of wasps. You know what's equally as bad, if not worse, than wasp, though? Daddy long legs is. A daddy long legs, also known as a crane fly, is a spider-like insect that finds its way into your homes in late summer. They kind of look like... Hmm, like, imagine if you got a spider and just cranked up the legs all the way up on the customized menu and then made them really fast. Oh, and also they can fly. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Also, they'll do this thing when you're trying to sleep where they'll, they'll keep, like, flying around and bashing into walls and ceilings. And when they do that, it creates this horrible sound, like... <laughs> By the way, completely unrelated note, look at this cool video, this patch of twigs or something. That's weird, it kind of looks like hair. Oh my god, it's a bunch of babies. Oh no, why is it touching me? Oh, make it stop! You know, I had to watch like eight of those videos to find the right clip for this video. By the way, on the topic of bugs and stuff, moths. Trying to sleep? Moths. Want to have a shower? Moths. Want to do anything really? That's right, moths. Minus one point. By the way, there's this other bug that I hate so much that I even made a video on it. You know, this one. 
Anyway, yeah, I hate those small little flies so much. For one, they're just everywhere all the time. Two, you'll try and clap them and they stop existing. And three, if they fly in front of something dark, then they just cease to exist. Not epic. Minus one point. Okay, so schools, right? You may or may not know of the commonly referred to event called Sports Day. Yeah, it sucks. Minus one point. Did you know that I actually have an allergy called allergic rhinitis? Or as any normal person would call it, hay fever? And it's, uh, yeah, it's actually the worst. It's basically like early summer rolls around, and you know there's all the bees everywhere pollinating. And my body thinks, "Uh uh-uh, no, 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 we can't be having this. And, you know, it gets into my eyes, and it'll be all, like, itchy, you know, runny nose, etc, etc, sneezing, you know. If you get hay fever, then you know what I'm talking about. Maybe not, though, because I get it, like, really bad. Not only do I get what I described, but also, I get, like, nosebleeds, swollen eyes. And as well as that, this one time I went to 4D. It's like some school thing where you go to, like, a campsite, forest thing for a week or so. You do, like, activities and games. Coincidentally though, this took place in the prime of hay fever season. So by the end of it, I kid you not, my eyes were full on bloodshot. No, not just like a little pink around the edges. Nah, they were fully dark red. Not good. But you want to know what the worst thing by far hay fever does to me? If I itch my eyes particularly a lot, then I can get conjunctivitis, which is terrible. You get this yellow slime in your eyes. If you close your eyes for too long, say if you go to sleep, then it like glues your eyelids together and hardens. And that means if I get conjunctivitis, then in the mornings I can't open my eyes. I literally have to pry them open with my fingers, which is not fun one bit. And if you are one of those sick freaks that say, Oh, just don't rub your eyes then. I don't think you understand. How would you feel if in summer, for some unexplained reason, loads of sand gets in your eye over time? And it itches so bad. And if you itch it, then it gets more itchy. And the whole time, some brain-dead moron will say, Oh, haha, just don't rub your eyes, stupid. Telling me not to rub my eyes is the least helpful thing you can say in that situation. Me not rubbing my eyes doesn't magically stop them from being itchy. Contrary to popular belief, if I don't itch my eyes, then they do actually get more itchy. Luckily, nowadays, I just get, like, antihistamines. But still though, the fact that I have to buy pills just so I can be a functional member of society in summer is not good. Very bad, no good, minus 3 points. Right, let's tally up the scores. Winter has 15 pro points and 1 con point. Summer has 7 pro points and 12 con points. Alright, let's do the math here. Uh, uh, hang on, 15 minus 1, um... Hey, future me, could you give me a hand here? So as we saw in that video, Winter got 14 points and Summer got minus 5. And thus, Winter wins! Hello.